Welcome in to 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase. I am a level 1 CMT and full-time trader. Today we're going to look at Chainlink. We're going to look at an update, look at the swing lows, swing highs, what the hell is going to go next with my side scroll bar here, <laughs> and what we could possibly focus on in the short and long term. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you want more help navigating these markets, access to our private Telegram alerts group where we keep you up to date on everything in crypto and even the stock market. All this good stuff, all these things that you see, all these coins here. Access to requests, one-on-one -on -one chats with me, anything you want, right? We can talk about whatever. Access through Patreon, link below. Let's go to Chainlink. Um, Four-hour chart, right? We're, we're at our swing low support, right? We've been here before, back in January. We've been here before, back in November, right? We're back again. Is this going to hold like it did back then? Well, we'll see. Uh, I like this zone holding. I don't know if the macro lows are in, right? We have our low wick over here, uh, 1196, right? That was a little bit lower than we wanted to go, right? We'll look at it on the big weekly picture. Uh, but this generally, right, this kind of structure where we tend to move down and then get this little bounce and then move a little bit lower tends to be around the lows, right? Not, not per chain link, but just in general TA perspective, that's generally what you can expect. Now, look at these Bollinger Bands, right? Squeezing up here, a larger move. What I'd like to see is like another, like maybe maybe a press down here and then a recovery. See like this long lower wick here, right? That would be good. That would be a good sign of a reversal and we can start climbing back up here, right? So we're on the four hour chart. It is short time frame. Um, so far, looks like consolidation more than anything, right? After this big move down, it's just kind of chopping around and that's normal as well. Uh, what we'd want to avoid is closing, you know, below this, below this zone, below 1140. That would be a rough sign. I don't see that happening, um, especially with just this, this low and then a low and then just hanging around the lows, right? Typically, this is trying to form a bottom here. So that is a good sign for the bulls. Um, it could be a couple more days, might be even another week or two. Uh, Bitcoin having just, you know, hand, handful of hours away at this point, right? A um, couple days. Um, some coins recovering already, right? Like, look at this structure. Let's go look at the daily and I'll show you what I mean here. So look at this move down below the 200 here. And we're just kind of hanging around. Take, let's take a look at injective. This is what we need Chainlink to do, right? Here, swapping over to injective. Like, right? see that move? Right now, it bounced back up already. It looks very similar so far. So we're looking to kind of get a... Uh, a bounce back up, maybe 1450. Uh, but this is going to be our resistance zone when we get there. We have the 200 day right there, around 15, just above 15. And not only that, we have our swing lows back here that try to hold support for uh, hold support as March broken through. Underside retest often holds initially. Underside retests of broken uh, major trend lines, uh, like you know the the moving averages excuse me uh the 200 right 1545 will likely hold as resistance initially doesn't mean you can't go through it the next day but the initial tap tends to kind of hold the line so keep that in mind right the 100 ema right that's where we kind of held support if we get up there that'll be our big level that'll get us back above this zone and the sky start to clear above, you know, 1670 or so, right? You could see, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you can imagine a world where we kind of, this blue line here kind of curls down here over the next couple of days to weeks. And we start to kind of move back up here. And once we clear this again and start build off support, then we can start to get more bullish and focus on taking out this level, this level, just climbing up the stairs here, right? Uh, these highs, that's our kind of our, our bullish stairs. So that's what we're looking at to do. Mimic kind of what Injective is doing. Uh, looking good, right? Injective is one of the stronger moves. I think the strongest move today in the green, right? It's kind of shrugging off all this red. Uh, injective up over 10%, right? We need Link to... Mm, you know, not repeat, but rhyme something with that. Um, but until we can close above the EMA 8, that red line right here, uh, 1450 as of today, right? Could take a couple days, but any given day, that's what we're looking to do. So short term, we're just back at, you know, where, where we have been for the past, you know, four, five, six months here, right? So the difference is we're under the 200, right? So we are, by that definition, a little bit more bearish or consolidative in nature here, right? So patience, right? We're there. We had a little bit of a uh, kind of a, a distribution pattern here, right? We come up, 
higher highs, then start putting in lower highs to support. We should have held this. This 200 should have held. That is a concern. So when you break those key levels, uh, the, certainly this kind of throwback move that we got that we were hoping for and expecting, right? That's likely going to lead to weaker weaker price action in the days and weeks ahead. And that, you know, depending on the chart you're looking at. And I, I would say that we're going to spend some time between, you know, 15 to $12 now trying to rebuild another base before we can move up. Okay, let's go out to the weekly, see how that's shaping up, right? We're under the 21 week. So again, you're more cautious when you do that, right? Would like to have held that. We didn't, right? We closed well under the, the EMA 21, the 34. We did hold the 100 after tagging it and the 50. So that is at least a good, at least of a good bounce. Uh, what we can hope for on the weekly, let, like, let's see, let's say we move a little bit lower here. Uh, and, and, you know, between now and the weekly close in four and a half days. So we'll do more updates between now and then, don't worry. But what if we get a move back down to like, uh, you know, $12 area, and then we start to close back up here? Uh, that would be what's called a tweezer bottom, right? That would look stellar. That would be a great sign of, you know, uh, uh, a relief rally at, at minimum back to, you know, somewhere in this kind of resistance zone. Uh, minimum up there, uh, but a, a, a tweezer bottom bounce off of the 100 a key moving average right that would be even bigger so that would likely be the maybe maybe all-time lows right for for the rest of history right so that's what we're looking for um that is you know we have four and a half days away right that's what we're looking for and you know between now and then like who cares right just wait for the weekly close we have we looked at on the four hour right we have our levels to be watching the bands are pressing up here Right, close above the EMA eight. If you do that, close above the EMA twenty one. Right, so it's like kind of stair stepping. Right, we got we broke through the EMA eight here, then we rejected off the EMA twenty one here. Right, so step one, BMA eight. Step two, twenty one, and then you can start to gain traction, and very likely going to hit this top upper zone here. Then we look at our bigger moving averages. We have the hundred and the two hundred right just above. You can see we're rejected there at our high right before we've been in this downtrend here. So, uh, two hundred will be key. Right, there's our kind of our three steps here. Step one, eight, step two, that, step three, uh, this zone, step four, final step, and when the blue sky is clear, back to seventeen dollars, and there we go. Then we can start uh singing kumbaya together. All right. Uh chain link flannel goes back on there. <laughs> the sign will stay on, don't worry. <laughs> I won't have to turn it off like the bear market. Uh, but that's that. So chain link update. Hopefully you liked it. Uh let's get to our quote and card of the day. Uh, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body by Seneca. All right. Car of the day. Whoops. I think I skipped a picture. Let's go with BMW M6 convertible. Great looking Beamer. There you go. And white, always classic. And the rear. All right. We'll end it there. Go back to the great color, satin, satin, silver, metallic, shark skin, whatever you want to call it. It's cool. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully you found this helpful. Chainlink out.